Despite violent protests in Vietnam, China isn't backing down from its plans of stationing an oil rig in the South China Sea. A top Chinese military official on a visit to the United States said oil drilling will continue in disputed waters, and he had words for Hanoi and Washington as well. Chu Sun has more. After meeting with his U.S. counterpart General Martin Dempsey at the Pentagon Thursday, the chief of the general staff of the Chinese People's Liberation Army said he will continue drilling for oil in disputed waters. He said they belong to China and that the nation couldn't afford to lose an inch of its territory. Blaming Hanoi for disrupting Sino-Vietnam relations by sending ships to the area, the Chinese general also had a message for Washington. I would like to also express hope that the United States can hold an objective view on the issues in the South China and East China Seas. Fang also criticized U.S. President Barack Obama's strategic military rebalancing in Asia for giving some countries in the region leverage to make territorial claims in the seas. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff during the talks said the so-called pivot to Asia was necessary to protecting regional peace and stability amid mounting security threats from North Korea. We also discussed the tensions in the South China Sea and how provocative actions can lead to confrontation. These issues need to be resolved through dialogue and international law. Since the arrival of the Chinese oil rig in waters near the disputed Parasol Islands earlier this month, Beijing and Hanoi have each sent vessels to surround it. Anti-Chinese protests in southern Vietnam, which erupted Tuesday, spread north, and the foreign ministry there has confirmed one death from the clashes. China's state-run Xinhua News Agency has reported at least two Chinese nationals were killed. The Chinese foreign minister spoke with the Vietnamese deputy prime minister Thursday, urging Hanoi to take measures to protect the safety of Chinese nationals and companies in Vietnam. Chee Yusun, Arirang News.